So uh, all the all the data are in database right now, but we are using our local database, right? So the, the local database is just for testing. It's not for production. Like all the users were created, like Alice, like Bob. Those are just some testing users. We use that to, to we use the data to make sure our uh, code is functionality. It's like it's, it's functional. Everything is working. And now let's create a real database. The user will use the, uh, online. Right. So. <clears throat> Alright, so let me open the the code for the WebMaker. So we're gonna open this with code, with this code. <coughs> Alright. So the only thing we need to change is tell it when when you are connected with uh, when when you when you are in the production mode. When we send you to Heroku, please connect to another database. And the place where we Tell it to where the database is. Is in the config in the config folder, right? In config folder, and in the default the, uh, default JSON here. We say the Mongo. Let me just make the font size a little bigger. Right. In the default JSON here, we said, um, right. So you're gonna connect to the database a local host two seven zero one seven. The local host is a hosting. Uh, you're running on your own machine on this current machines you're 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 using, right? We are going to just tell it when you when when we send you this code to the Heroku, please connect to another place. All right, connect to another place. And in DBJS, we're gonna check. Right, so right now it's it's always gonna connect to this this uh, this place. But in the uh, in here, we're gonna have if cases if. The code is running online. If the code is in the production mode, we are going to switch the database, connect it to another one. All right. Let's first create a database online. So, which is uh, very easy. We can using a uh, add-on of the Heroku. Right. So, let me show you how to do it. So, we're gonna firstly uh, log into the Heroku account. Like go to the Heroku uh, dashboard. Should be able to. If they ask you to log in, just log in, and you will see the screen. Right. And opening the project. About the the, the WebMaker, right? This my this uh, this is the one for me. You may have a different name, right? So that's a uh, that that's a uh, uh, the overview page of the application, and then you see here it says uh, installed add-ons. Right? There's there's are uh, no add-ons for this app now, so we're gonna add one here. Right? So I'm gonna click on configure uh, configure the add-ons. Click on that, right? And uh, quickly add on add-ons. From elements, so the one we are going to use is called a uh, uh, MLab, MLab MongoDB. Right. It's a it's an on to uh, for just 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 create a, a online database for you, a MongoDB database for you to use. Click on that, and we're going to choose in the free version and the pro version it. Uh, when you're trying to do that, you may also getting an error says. You can, it's gonna the error gonna be on the top right here says you cannot do that without verifying your payment method. So what you need to do is just go to your account setting, and then go to the billing, and in your credit card here. And it is free, but the reason they want you to put your credit card here is to verify that you are you. Because think about it, if you if no one provided the payment information here, you, instead of like a, a, a so. So the, the, the free version again is limited like in to maybe uh, one gigabyte per person per person. But if you if no one uh, paid any money and you can just keep applying new account, keep applying new account, new account, new account, that, like, they, they won't get any money. So they're gonna limit it. Each person can only own one free uh, like a, no uh, uh, one account. So they want to using your credit card to verify your information. There won't be any charge for that. It's verified like it, uh, you only have one account with us, so you, we only provide you one free database per one application. All right, so don't worry about uh, the, 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 the credit card here, it won't charge anything. Let's see, like my current usage is zero, platform credit is zero. If you check all the histories, I think I haven't been charged anything in Heroku. Our thing is just zero. All right, so don't worry about that, just need to add in your credit card if, if you give. Uh, I'm not sure if, if they are still checking that right now, but like uh, uh, in, in the past, it's always requires you to have a credit card information here to be able to use uh, add-ons. 
All right, so just adding that. And now, once you edit that, let's go back. You should be able to see, let's go to the, the project overview. You should be able to see the MLab is added inside here as one of our add-on. I will use the set box, which, which is a uh, uh, limited, has limited space, but it, it is free, All right? So, we're gonna uh, click on the MLab here, get into there, I right, click on the name of it, get into the manage page of, of the database, Right, so you can see on the, on the top here, it says um, uh, to connect using a driver or a standard MongoDB URI, and this is a path for it, and this is what we need. We're going to tell the database, when we, when we uh, you know, when we send the application online, we're going, to, instead of connecting the local database, we're going to connect the database with this address. We're all going to have the different address, but this is the one we're going to connect it to. So you can see inside here, it will require you to have a DB user and DB password. This is like a, you need to uh, create a credential to, to use in this database. So we're going to go to the users, our uh, users here, and we're going to add a database user here so we can log in to this database with this credential. So we're going to say add in database user. This user is not the user like a, we have like Alice and Bob, this is the user. Uh, to access the database, to give the, uh, to have the user have the permission to, to any new data or remove data in the database. Uh, the database is not like available for all kinds of users who, who want to uh, accept it, uh, 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 access it. You will need to provide a username and password here to access the database here. All right. So let's adding a new database user, create a username and a password. So we're just gonna say uh, my username and just put, let's say, uh, let me just say uh, root. And the password here is password. I just put, put, put uh, I need they need to have also have a uh, at least a one numerical character. So I'm just going to be password one, password one. So you put something uh, only only you know. Right? I'm just providing example. That's not a good password. Good, not good username. Right? So create it, and you will. So you can see the root is added to here. I just use that here. Okay, we can we can we 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 create the URL. Uh, the Mongo URI, we're going to say the uh, MongoDB slash slash root and the column password one at the rest part of it. Right, so we're going we're gonna to put the username and password in, inside it so to, to have access to the to database. All right. And uh, now, uh, let's say we can go back to our, no, not here not hot here yet. So we're going to actually, yes, we can go back to there. So we're going to go back to our code to using this one. Let's, let me just uh, copy this guy here. I'm going to copy this guy here. I'm going to copy that. All right, so in the, in our code, uh, so remember, we are using a config, right? We're using config, the get mongo, so it knows like what to get from, from here. And we are, so it, it, the, 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 uh, it's getting the mongo URI from the default JSON. And the, 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 this config library is actually very, very smart. If you create another JSON file inside the config, uh, config folder, so inside here you can create another file. We call it production.json. Inside here, we also have a Mongo. All right. So what's going to happen is right now we have a two different JSON file. One is called the default. One is called production. And uh, the default one, when you when we run our code locally on our, our machine, the config is very smart. It knows it, well, I'm, I'm going to grab the uh, the Mongo from the default JSON. But when you send your code online, it will change. It will automatically change to using the, the Mongo string from the production.json. So now we have like two separate databases. When, we, when we're working locally, it's going to use the, the default JSON Mongo address. And then when we send our code online, it's going to use the one in the, in the production.json. Right? So you don't have to set up it by yourself. You just need to let you uh, put, put a, make sure the name is correct. One is called default, another one is called production. I think that's it, and uh, we can right, set it up. So, 
for the production JSON with the Mongo, right, we're going to put the one I just copied, the whole thing. But we're only gonna need the 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 part, right? After the uh, the username and the password, just the start from the at at ds blah blah blah. Those things that just that part. The first part we're gonna create it uh, in the DBJS because that's from the MLab from MLab. So if uh, if you just come here uh, uh, late, uh, you can just uh, refer to the video. It should be a very very simple process, a very simple process. Don't worry about that. So we'll copy that uh, that pass, but we only need the the, the part before the uh, right after the add, right? With uh, add is inclu included, right? Start with the add and the rest part of it. Put it here, right? In the DBGS, we're gonna uh, check it here. We're gonna check it here. So again, we're still getting the DB config get uh, get from the Mongo. And uh, when we do the uh, this connect function here, we're going to do a check. We're going to check if, right? Before the await here, we're going to do if. If, if we are in the production mode, then we, we, we we're gonna uh, construct the the username and password. Right? If we're, if, if we're using local database, we don't need username and password. But if we're using the online database, we need the username and password. So we're gonna do that. So if the process dot inf the uh, say node inf here is, uh, as option that is the one we're looking for. If the node inf, which, which which stands for if the node environment is in the production, is equal to production. That that that's the way you check if your application is in the production mode, right? So if you are in the production mode, we're gonna have a username, right? Um, you can well you can put the username just put the username root and the password. Equal to uh, password one. That's gonna work, but we're not gonna do it this way. The reason for that is like a, think about if you put your username and the password in your code, and you send your code into GitHub, everyone can see it, right? So we don't want we don't want others to see it. So we're going to uh, say the username equal to process dot inf, and give it a name. We're gonna call it. Uh, uh, I'm going to using the capitalized the letters here, just mlab uh, username, or just a name for it. And uh, the password is equal to process, uh, lowercase uh, process the inf the mlab password. I just you, you basically can call it any anything. I just call it mlab username and then password. You can call it database username, database password. Right, so. Um, and where we define these two variables? Where does MLab username and the MLab password come from? It has actually have access to the Heroku. To the Heroku, right? So if you go log into the Heroku application here, right? Go to the, I think it's in the access. Like in your setting. Yeah, in the setting. Right, in the setting here, you can, you can see here is option says config vo uh, verse, config variables. You can create some variables here, and which can be accessed from outside. This is revile. Uh, uh, it, it already have one we call the Mongo DB URI, so it knows uh, which database to connect. And we're also going to add in two keys. First one is the one we just created, m lab username. I right, can put it here. The our application actually when push our code to the Heroku, it actually can read the username and password from from here. Right, so if you put it here, no one can see it. Only you can see it. Right, so I'm going to put the username root. Uh, it's lowercase. Root. Add. I can add a new one, which is the password. So the mlab password. I'm going to hide it here. Right, password. What? That's my password. I'm going to add this to here. Right, so there. So I'm going to hide it. And no one can see it. But but like our application will have access to it. The username and the password. Right, both things. I'm going to hide it here. Right, so, and now the, the username and password can get in from there. And uh, again, so, right, so we're going to do, uh, 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 <coughs> we're going to construct this DB here, right? So the DB, if we only, remember the DB here, we only have the, lot, the, 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 the part after the, the 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 add uh add uh, I can't write uh, <laughs> the opposite add. We also need the part before the add. 
right? So we're gonna create that. So let's say the, we're gonna do a let. We're gonna call it a, a connection. Just call it. Just give it any name you like. Connection. Connection. Is equals to. Uh, right, so the first part is going to be Mongo. We're just going to use backdix here. So it's going to be Mongo CB. Right? And plus the username. So it's going to be the uh, the variable username. Right? This part is username. And a uh, column. And uh, we'll have the password. Right? And then we'll have the add part. So which is going to be. Uh, the DB, right? DB is uh, is getting the Mongo from the back from from the from the production JSON, right? So this is uh, going to be our connection string, uh, the the connection path, the, the 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 address we're to find in the database, and then we're gonna do this await inside here, right? Just gonna do the await uh, mongoose dot connect, and this time we're gonna connect connect to the connection, right? This is a name we'll give it, connect to that. And I'm gonna pass in the same uh, the three options here to avoid some warnings. <clears throat> and else we're connecting this. So if we are not in the production mode, we're gonna connect in there. We're gonna put that inside. So right. <clears throat> so now we have a if. We are online, we're connecting to this database, else we're connect to the local database. I have two different versions. And it's, it's the, uh, the, the config library is very smart. It knows like where to grab the, the Mongo URI. So if we, are, if we are online, it's gonna grab it from production JSON. If we are locally, it's gonna grab from the default JSON. I hope that makes sense. And that's 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 all. That's the setting up for all of it. And we can try to send our code to the Heroku to try it out. Alright, so let's let me let me try it. So let's git add dot git commit dash m um <coughs> let's say m uh, link to m lab. Right, just try it out. And git push. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, in if case, if case? This one? Let? Uh, it should be constant. You're right. It should be constant. Yeah, it's supposed to be constant. Well, yeah, the constant is a better choice because we're not change it. Yeah, you're right. This should be constant. All right, so I just push my code into the uh, Heroku. Let me check it so uh, in overview it should start the the the, the, the build progress and uh, let me just check it up when it's finished we can try it out Alright, so it's still run, running the build. Should be there in a second. Just <coughs> wait, be patient. All right, so let me just make sure we have anything. We did adding the username and password in the setting, and it can be read from the application, right? And the MLab is showing inside here, right? And also in MLab, we created this root user here. We right? added it. And uh, that's it. Right now, we shouldn't have any connection. So the connections, connections here is empty. And uh, all right, so I think it's all set it up. Just waiting for this one to be done so we can test it. It's, it's almost there. Compressing, launching, and that's released. So I think I can try to open it right now. Uh, yep. So it's showing. All right, if I just try logging, it shouldn't be working. Because remember, our collection is still empty. There's no any data. Let's try to register a new user. 
Right, I'm gonna try to reduce the uh, Alice. Alice. Probably Alice. Right? So click on register. Okay, Alice is created. Let's make sure in the MLab. If I reload the page, we have our first collection, user collections. If I open that, the Alice data is inside here. I say the ID is this is ID, username Alice, password Alice. That's connected to the online database. And if you right now, if I give you uh, the, the, this link here, you can visit this page, this page like a, a visit this, uh, this my website from any computer, and using my database. Right, so this is a database is online, so everyone can use it. But this is also how the M Simple website is linked. M Simple website is also using the M Lab database, and just using the database online. I can check the all. I can check all your data inside here. All right, so I have the collections. I have the management of this database. All right, it's when I test it, I'm using local database. When I push the code into the Heroku, it's using the online database. All right, I can. Uh, well, since Alice is already created, I can just log in with it and also change her information here. So email, I can put uh, wonder at gmail.com. First name is uh, Alice. Last name is Wonder, and I'll click OK. User info is updated, and then if in MLab, we we'll check it. All right, check it. So the Alice information is updated. See the uh, her her first name, her last name, and her email is inside here. You can also manually change it from here if you want. Like change the Alice, change her username, change the password, and just submit it. It's just like the the one in the uh, in the in, in the Mongo campus we do locally. All right, this is an online version of the database. Right, so that's that's everything you need to do to make sure it's working online. So, and uh, inside the, uh, the 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 database here, you can also check how much usage you have inside it. So it's the current size because we only have one user data. I'm using the eight point two two KB uh, kilobytes. So I have the total size. I think it's five hundred megabytes for the free for user. It's it's pretty enough. If you do not store like things like videos inside it, um, yeah, I think that's pretty enough. If I don't store store the vid any video inside it, right. uh, I, don't, I I I forgot where where the machine the max size you have, but yes, the uh, M Lab documentation maybe the machine that inside here. Uh, I don't see it here. Yeah, but yes, you can. Uh, you, when, when that is full, you can also uh, expand it to, to pay for uh, more store, uh, more space, or we can transfer it to some other softwares like the database in the uh, in the AWS or database other database online. But this is uh, the one uh, should be enough for you to to uh, for 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 a while. So for a while. All right. So I'm gonna stop the videos here. You can check out the videos to see how we connect.